So I'll start off by saying uh, my opponent in the second negative constructive argued um, that DNA filing fails to target individuals. According to the, uh, the U.S. Department of Justice, in September of 2014, DNA can be used to identify criminals with incredible accuracy when bi uh, biological evidence is present. Secondly, he argues that DNA samples are subject to human error and environmental uh, contamination. In the Hastings Science Technological Law Journal, I know I'd like to go back to that one. But uh, my partner used it and said uh, the preferred method of collecting um, these samples is a melt swab because it reduces the possibility of contamination. Moreover, the swab is an easy and rapid single step process as opposed to other methods that often require multiple steps. Each additional uh, procedural step creates another opportunity for, for human error. Moreover, my opponent gives evidence of a young man who uh, <clears throat> had been unjustly in prison for a few years because of distortion of DNA evidence. Uh, this, this was in 1998 only four years after the FBI was authorized to establish an index of DNA identification records. The system's CODIS software at the time was still relatively new and uh, was not nearly as advanced as it is today. <clears throat> not all 50 states and the federal government had universal laws in effect uh, requiring that DNA samples be collected from some categories of offenders. Also in the, in that, uh, in the Hastings Law Journal, the, the National DNA Evidence System, uh, Index System contained over 7.9 million offender profiles and 306,000 forensic profiles. And CODIS had produced over 107,000 hits, assisting in more than 110,000 investigations. The NDIS uh, now is comprised of three federal databases, 50 state databases, and over 70 local databases. Um, Last thing my opponent states a couple of disadvantages addressing social and privacy issues and how others may, be, uh, may use the DNA against you. Since we already have developed this trust in government that we've been speaking about, uh, recording each individual's DNA profile is not an issue of privacy or defiance of the Fourth Amendment. Um, medical records, voter registration, DMV information, information we continually enter online is no different. Is solely additional information that tells who you are, not what you are doing, or how you are living your private life. In a paper written for the Technology of Justice at Harvard, DHK and Michael Smith write, and so far as DNA databases help solve crimes, they certainly help protect citizens and their property and rights, including the right of victims to justice. Lastly, the disadvantage of uh, DNA being uh, abused and used against you is, uh, is insignificant because uh, a national database would make it far more difficult for those uh, with power to abuse it. After all, um, the more that valid information is available, the less difficult it is to cover up once track state, uh, state official or not. But um, furthermore, I want to point out, kind of put on the table, we didn't really talk about what, what the DNA evidence looks like. And um, it's not, you might have the notion that it is um, hard skin, blood, Hair, hair samples that are actually stored, which it's actually a genetic code that's stored within the FBI's um, system. 